Hey, my devs out there, it's Contract Lens, and I got a question to ask you. Have you ever felt stuck at your job? Do you make right now five figures or less and are struggling to get up to that six figure? That's what's going to be on today's topic. Today, we're going to be discussing that feeling that you have, that feeling of frustration of trying to find that new job or trying to increase the amount of money you're making in your current job and exactly what to do about it. Because I will tell you, it is a frustrating feeling. It sucks and it feels like you're not going anywhere and that there's no one there to help you. But your boy here, your boy Contract Lancer has been through all that and I'll tell you exactly what to do. But first, stop me if you heard this before. Once upon a time, a little while back, you might have been working at a service job or maybe you're working at some sort of retail job. You weren't making that much and suddenly you find yourself, hey, I finally got my degree. I finally left college. I did my internship, whatever it is. I am now a full fledged developer and a company is looking at you to hire you and they do. They hire you at around 60 to 70 K a year because that is where most uh, entry level developers will begin. And you're happy about that. And you should be. Congratulations. You just took a very big step into your career. That initial first real software engineering job. You know what? You're excited. The people you're around with are actually quite good people. You're working for a decent company. It's all gravy right now. And you feel great. What happens? A year passes. You maybe you don't get a raise or maybe you do, but it's very small. A couple thousand here and there. So instead of making 60, you're making maybe 62,000. Instead of making 70, you're making maybe 72,000. Whatever it is, it's not a big raise, but hey, you don't want to rock the boat. The company did give you a chance and you feel grateful to them. So you decide, you know what, I'm going to stay here. I'm getting paid decently for the amount I'm worth. So I'm just going to continue doing it. And you do. One more year passes. And then you start saying to yourself, you know what, maybe... I should get a you know more of a raise because now you know, I'm still getting paid more or less as much as I was getting paid before without experience. Maybe I should get more because I have more experience. And maybe you do try that. You try going up to someone saying, hey, what will it cost for, you know, how do I get to that extra money? How do I get paid? Whatever it is the, the people in my position, people with my work experience get paid by. But it doesn't come true. You don't get that raise or you don't get you know, the raise that you wanted. So you decide, okay, you know what? This job has still been good to me. It didn't work out, but they're still great. I'm looking at the economy right now. It doesn't look that good. Look at the crazy things that are happening here and happening all across the world. I just like my place work. I like the people I work with. I don't want to rock the boat too much. And then another year maybe passes. And you know what? You start to get comfortable. This entire, you know, will I try for another raise? Will I continue to work here? That becomes a really big habit. And you know what? You start developing other habits. You start enjoying the actual company of the people around you, if you're lucky. If you're working for a very good corporation. Maybe they'll give you the time off that you ask for. Maybe they'll give you some flex time. Maybe they'll let you work remotely uh, here and there. You know, something like that. They're really good to you, you know. They're treating you. They're giving you a good work-life balance. They're, and you're still getting paid. Whatever it is you were getting paid before. Maybe a little bit more, but not too much more. You enjoy the environment. You enjoy the routine. You enjoy going out with your coworkers if you have that. Like you, you just have a very nice you know, life. And you say to yourself, why do I feel this way? The feeling that you're feeling right now is a feeling that you're not actually growing anymore. And it happens. It will happen to you at some point. You work for some place for a couple of years and you see that your pay is not going up. And you're like, well, how do these other people make so much more money? That's where the frustration starts to set in. That's when you start to look outwards. And the first thing you will normally do is do some research. Basic research will tell you that if you stay in a job for more than two years, you'll make 50% on average less than a person who doesn't do that. So you realize that maybe company loyalty isn't the way to do this. So how do I how do I get more money out of it? Because, you know, I enjoy my work. I'm getting paid a okay but I'm certainly not getting paid what I think I'm worth. And then you do more research and you see what the average salary of an intermediate developer would be. In my opinion, an intermediate developer is one between three and five years of experience in a certain technology. And then the average, I'm gonna show you the average, is roughly about 90K. You're not making anywhere near that, are you? 60, 70K, you're 20K off. So you're starting to see to yourself, like maybe I'm not getting paid what I'm worth now because I should be getting paid at least close enough to this. 
and your company is not budging and giving you that amount of money. But then you start telling yourself, well, if I try to you know, leave the company, then I would be, I'd be ungrateful to them because they gave me the chance. They allowed me to start where I didn't have anything before. And leaving them in this way, I would feel bad because I'd also be leaving the people that I like. I would be leaving that routine, that comfort. And that is ultimately the reason why you're not going to see any more money than you're making now. It'll probably be 10 years before they even give you another couple thousand more. And unfortunately, a lot of people get stuck in that comfort. And if you're looking at this video, you're probably in the same boat, more or less. You feel that you've stagnated. And that feeling is mutual. I've been there before. I worked for a very good company when I started out. And I love the people I work with. And I love the job. But I knew that if I wanted more out of it, I needed to break away. And that's what you need to do too. And this is what I'm going to tell you. And take this to heart. The feeling of frustration you have right now is not actually towards the people around you. The feeling of guilt you have is more or less a combination of you understanding that you're not getting paid what you're worth, but believing that you are getting, you know, what you are worthy of. And that's not a good attitude to have. The frustration you have is towards yourself and you know it. And it's not towards the people around you. That's what I'm trying to say. It is a real tangible feeling. And it sucks and it's frustrating. And the way you get out of it is by understanding that it, when you do work for these companies, they will drop you whenever it suits them. If you start costing them more money than you're worth, they will fire you. Companies, corporations don't reward loyalty. If they did, they would have given you the amount of money you deserve without you asking for it. They would know exactly what the average is and try to meet or match it. But instead, you either have to go up to them, try to negotiate with them, and usually they will tell you, no, we're not going to do this. And then you're stuck. When it comes to actually leaving to find another job, that's usually the hardest part, especially if it's your first time trying to do the swap. But that is the only real way developers, contractors, freelancers will ever find true growth in their income. As the Forbes article said, if you work for a company for more than two years, you're basically losing 50% of your income, of your potential income. And the reason for that is because when you negotiate your way to a different job, you're usually seeking higher and higher pay. So you are going to keep negotiating higher and higher wages. Your floor keeps changing every time you go to a new job. So in this job, you might be getting paid 60K. The next job, you want to get paid 80K because now you have more experience. You're worth more and they know it. They might not know you perhaps, but they know what they're looking for. And they have usually a rate that they advertise in their job description. And that's what you got to look out for. Ultimately, the thing that's holding you back is the mindset that you owe your company anything. You don't. And that is the mindset you must adopt right now. As a contractor, as a freelancer, is super important. As an employee, I say it's beneficial to you because knowing what you're worth at all times, knowing what the salary of your other coworkers are, is also a very good way of understanding where you are and if you're getting paid what you're worth. This is to help those people who have been stuck at a certain job for a while. If you believe that you're getting unfairly paid, or if you know you're getting unfairly paid, then consider that the company is not looking at your value. My advice would be to try to negotiate with them for that higher pay that you want, but if you can't, then be ready to leave them. Go find a new job. It's a scary experience at first, but once you do it once, you will know more or less how and uh, more or less how know how common it is to keep doing that. That it is a taboo and it is for your income for your interests that you go and find a new job that pays you more the thing that is going to really hold you back is your fear you have the experience this company has been has held you here for a while you stay with this company and they haven't fired you or anything right so you have the experience to have someone keep you for that amount of money which means that you could find another company that's willing to basically hire you for for even more money because you have more experience to offer and that's what you have to start thinking about. Loyalty is not rewarded anymore. And if it was, I would tell you, but it isn't. That's why I chose the path I've chosen, the contracting path. Because it is the only path that gives you the high risk, high reward scenario. You know how long you want to stay with the company. And you know already that you're not going to get attached to them. They're a stepping stone for you to earn more money for the next company, from the next company that is. Until you decide, you know, you've found a place that you want to be or when you find financial freedom in a different way either way you want to make as much money as possible and you want to get paid what you're worth at the end of the day that's what this channel is to help you
I believe that everyone should get paid what they're worth, especially if you're a developer out there and they're not paying you at least the average salary for whatever experience you have. I think that's a shame. And you are frankly dropping down all the average salaries with you because you're doing that. So it is in my best interest to make sure that you get paid as much as possible. As I said in other videos, I want you to maximize your programming game for your programming games. And that is what this channel is about. And that's going to be it for today. Remember that your fear is holding you back and that you should always be looking for the next best opportunity. And I can get into more technical details on how to do that in other videos. But for now, change your mindset from I owe my company something to I owe myself uh, to find the better opportunities. That's what you got to do in life. Regardless what you are, contractor, programmer, contractor, developer, whatever, do what you got to do. And I'll be here helping you along the way. Because I've been there before and it sucks, but you can beat the system. And I'll see you later. Contract Lancer out.